scratch their names on your fabled cup. And the punter is in there for a touchdown for Pittsburgh. The Steelers are the Super Bowl champions. There's the leaping catch. And it's double quad catches another circus catch. Won the Super Bowl for the second consecutive year. Russ delays to Crump. He's got it. Four Super Bowl victories under Chuck Cole. Take it by Crosby. A shot score! Stanley Cup champions. The Pittsburgh Penguins. He can throw it. He's going to touch down the Heinz Ward. They finally get the one for the thumb. It's going to be picked off. Dave Harris Stanley. And that's a touchdown from Pittsburgh. Throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown. Touchdown. How he did it. What a throw. What a catch. What a Play. Do you want more moments like this? My thesis question should help to answer that. My question is, should Pittsburgh invest in an NBA team? There are many ways to answer this question, but my main point will be return on investment for the owner. What I'm going to do is look at the financials of sports teams that have similar value to Pittsburgh franchises, as well as teams that have similar population to Pittsburgh. I will also be looking at the growth of these franchises. One might ask, where is this NBA team going to play? Well, the answer to that is there is already an arena in downtown Pittsburgh. It's called PPG Paints Arena, and it's where the Penguins play. There are other cities that share arenas with their hockey and basketball teams. It is actually very common for hockey and basketball teams to share arenas, as there are already 11 that do. So this is something that the NHL and NBA have already handled when it comes to scheduling. I'm excited to dive deeper into this question and present the results.